Hi, welcome to Cooking with Louise. I'm Louise, and on today's menu, I will be making an orange ginger tofu stir fry. Don't be afraid of the tofu. Tofu takes on the flavor of whatever you're cooking. This just tastes like orange and ginger and garlic. Absolutely delicious. Let's get started. These are the ingredients that you will need for the recipe. Some soy sauce, or I'm using liquid aminos, red pepper flakes, some red wine vinegar, honey, two cloves of garlic, some fresh grated ginger. You'll need one orange, we'll be using the juice as well as the zest. You'll need a red bell pepper, some sliced water chestnuts, some snow peas, this is some corn starch. You'll also need a couple of green onions, one zucchini, the tofu, and optional is some roasted cashew nuts. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with the tofu first. So for those that have never had tofu, don't be scared. Tofu doesn't actually have any sort of taste or flavor. It takes on the, the flavor of what it is you're cooking. So this is a perfect recipe for uh, somebody who has not tried tofu before because it's going to be flavored with all these other amazing ingredients. So let's go ahead and get this chopped. You're gonna to want to chop this into little cubes. So we'll just cut the tofu like this and then we're just gonna dice it, little cubes. Could probably go through all these at one time. And then these we're going to lay out on a sheet, a couple of sheets of paper towel. And we're gonna lay them on here because we want to draw out all the excess moisture. That way when we cook it up, it will get nice and crispy and it won't be all soggy and mushy. It's always important to have a sharp knife in the kitchen. Using our eight inch color coded chef knife makes cutting this tofu easy. Now that I have all the tofu cut and on the paper towel, I'm going to cover that with another couple of sheets of paper towel and then weigh that down with something heavy. I am just using our metal bar pan here. So I'm just gonna weigh that down drawing all the moisture out of the tofu. While that's happening, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the sauce. So to do that, we need a fourth of a cup of the red wine vinegar. Glug, 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 glug. <laughs> so we'll add the fourth of a cup. We need three tablespoons of soy sauce or tamari sauce or amino acids. One two, three. Next, we need three tablespoons of either honey or agave. I'm using the little honey and the squeeze bear. So three tablespoons of that. I like to use this because watch, you can kind of push it out. This is our adjustable measuring spoons. And then one more. There we go. Let's put that in there. All right, next we need two cloves of fresh garlic. I'm gonna add one extra one because we like garlic. We also will need some freshly grated ginger. So this is our adjustable 
uh, fine grater. I'm just going to grate the ginger right in the bowl using it like this. We need about two teaspoons, so I'm just going to grate it like this into the bowl. Fresh ginger smells oh, oh so good. I love it. We'll need some of the orange zest. So I'm going to use the same tool and just zest the orange. So you don't want to get to the to the white part, you just want the orange part of the orange. <laughs> the orange part of the orange. And we'll just zest that in here too. Just a couple of teaspoons is all we need. That looks good. Ooh, I can smell orange. It smells so good. Let's see how much we got here. Oh, that looks great, doesn't it? Alright, that should be plenty of orange zest. Let me just scrape it all off the back of my zester here. And then now we actually want the juice of the orange as well. So I'm going to be using our juicer. Let me cut it in half. Ooh, this is a nice juicy one. Next one. Let's see how much we've got in here. It didn't really say how much orange juice, it just said the juice of an orange. So if you can see on here, look, it has uh, the little strainer so that we won't get any seeds if it, they fell in or any pulp or anything. So we're just going to add that straight to our juice, I mean to our sauce. Oops. There we go. And the final ingredient that we need to add is a little bit of red pepper flakes. It's just a fourth of a teaspoon. There we go. And we'll get that whisked up together. And then we'll set this aside for later. Now I'm going to go ahead and start cutting the vegetables. So we need two green onions. I'm going to cut the little whiskers off, put set that aside, and then the whites are going to go into the skillet and we're going to reserve the greens for garnishing at the end. So I'm going to go ahead and just chop up the whole stalk. The greens here for later for the garnish and then the, the whites I'll just add in my prep bowl right here. Whoops! I think I lost a few on the floor. <laughs> okay, set that aside. Next we're going to cut our zucchini. So I'm just going to cut the top and the bottom off of the zucchini and I'm going to cut it in half and I'm going to use our quick slice to cut strips. So we'll just set these on here like this. Or not strips, chunks, I'm sorry. And we'll press down. And then we have, can you see? All these little chunks. So I'll put these in the prep bowl here. And we'll add the next one. There and there. Press down. This way they're all uniformed and then they'll all cook evenly. Okay, we'll add those to our two cup prep bowl. There we go. Next we're going to cut the red pepper. So the way I like to cut a red pepper, it might not be the conventional way, but I just Hold it like this, and then I just go down the sides like this. I might have actually seen this on the Food Network, I don't know, but this is the way that I just cut mine. 
And then here's your seeds, your seeds and your veins, whatever this is called, all right here. So that can go in the garbage. And then I'm going to use the quick slice on this as well. I'm just going to lay my red peppers on here and we're going to press down and we'll have nice even slices of these too. So we'll just put these in another prep bowl. See how handy and useful these prep bowls are? And then the final ingredient that we needed was the sliced water chestnuts. And I just have them in our little colander draining right here. So they are ready to go too. Now we're ready to work with the tofu. So it has been underneath this metal cookie sheet and should be ready to go. So yeah, I can feel the paper towel is damp. So it has pulled out the moisture. And we're just going to add this to a shallow bowl. Okay. And to that, we're going to add some cornstarch. We need three tablespoons of that and some salt to taste. So the cornstarch is going to help with the tofu getting it a nice crisp coating when we cook it. One, two, three. And then we'll just mix this all up. Ah, I forgot one thing. Ta da! So we'll get all this mixed up to coat our tofu. And then we will get cooking for real. Oh no, look, I forgot to cut the snow peas. So we need to use the, the quick slice on that as well so that they're all the same size. So we'll just set these on here lengthwise and cut them. So I'm obviously the pampered chef and not the perfect chef. <laughs> Whoa, confetti. All right, so we have our snow peas. It's like snow pea confetti. <laughs> All right, make a few more and then we're done. All right, that's it. Snow peas done. Okay. Now it's time to get cooking. So I have my 12 inch nonstick stainless steel skillet preheating and to that I'm going to add about a tablespoon or so of oil. I am happen, happen to be using uh, coconut oil and we'll let that get nice and hot in the skillet for a couple of, couple of minutes and to that we're going to add our tofu. Now remember. You can always substitute chicken tenders if you don't want to be brave and try the tofu. So with chicken tenders, you're just going to want to cut them into one inch pieces. Also, go ahead and put the cornstarch and salt to taste. So we'll let that cook on the one side for two to three minutes and then we'll flip it and let the other side cook. So we want the bottom to get a nice crust on them. So I'm going to try not to move them, play with them. Just want to kind of flatten them out a little bit. It's been about two to three minutes and I'm going to use our brand new stainless steel turner and go ahead and flip these over to get a sear on the other side. You can see they're nice and brown. I'd have liked them to be a little darker, but I'm too impatient. All right, so we'll let these cook for another two to three minutes or until the bottom sides are also got a little crust on them. It's been another two to three minutes and it looks like all the tofu has got a nice crust on the top and on the bottom. So I'm going to now transfer these just to a plate. Turn my skillet down a little bit and transfer them to this plate. 
I'm going to just add a little bit more oil, another uh, tablespoon or so of oil to the skillet. Ooh, we got smoking. And then I'm going to add the rest of the vegetables. So we got our green onions. We got our red peppers. We got our zucchini. And we have our snow peas. And we will just saute this. Oh, doesn't that look pretty? I love all the colors. It looks so pretty. So we will saute this until it is tender crisp. Not soggy. Nobody likes soggy vegetables, right? Turn that back up. Ten. Now it's time to add the tofu back. The bamboo or chestnuts, water chestnuts. And the delicious sauce that we made ahead of time. Give it a quick whisk. I just got a whiff of the ginger and orange. So now we'll just continue to cook this until the sauce thickens up. That cornstarch that was on the tofu helps as a thickening agent. This recipe is best served with some brown rice. So I cooked up some brown rice right here. I'm gonna add that. Oh, it smells so delicious. Going to top it with some chopped cashews and a, a few of our little green onion tops. Smells delicious. I sure hope that you will make this for your family. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Give me some thumbs up and I would love to know what you think of this recipe. Also, I am on Instagram. Please follow me, Cooking with Louise. Bye. These are all the products used in today's video. I have put the links in the description, so if you would like any of them in your kitchen. And remember, please subscribe so you will be up to date with all of my latest videos.